Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGuard.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to automatically format the cells within a date range. Now, the two examples I want to cover in this video are that on my spreadsheet, I have some due dates. Some dates that are in the future, but are some of them coming quite shortly. I wish to use some kind of color range to indicate whether they are you know, due in the, the next few days or next few months. So in the first example, I want to calculate a specific number of days in the future. Do any of those dates fall within that range? And then I want to look at working with just the working days, a certain number of working days in the future. So let's begin by highlighting the dates in question that I wish to apply the formatting to. And on the Home tab, I'll click Conditional Formatting and highlight Cells Rules. Now to start with in here, there is this option for date occurring. And Microsoft have created various date rules there that it could potentially be of interest to you. If I was to click on date occurring, here's the drop down list in question. We have yesterday, today, tomorrow, you know, then we've got stuff like next week, next month, this month. Some very useful stuff. Unfortunately, not anything that I'm after. I want to begin by finding out are any of those dates occurring within the next 21 days. That's what I want. Three weeks. So I'm going to cancel that. Go back into conditional formatting. Highlight cells rules. And choose between. So when I click on between, Excel will ask me for the two dates that I'm interested in. Now I could quite simply type in a couple of dates there. It may be that you need an example with a very specific start and end date. You can just type those in or refer to a cell that contains them. It could be the start and end of a project. Now for me, in the first box, I'm typing the today function. Equals today and an opening and closing parentheses. And in the second box, I'm going to type the today function again, equals today, open bracket, closing bracket, plus 21. So I'm typing plus 21 after those brackets. Can you calculate what today's date is, then add the 21 on top? Are they within the next 21 days? I'm then going to use the drop down list on the right to choose the color that I'm interested in. I'm going to custom format. I'm going to go for a nice orange color with a bold white font. And OK my way out. And you can see that in this example, there are three dates that fall within that range. They are within the next 21 days of today's date, which is the 17th of July at the time of recording. Okay, so that's how we can work with a specific number of days in the future from today's date. And that can be very useful, but that is 21 calendar days. It may be that in your line of work, in your spreadsheet, you need to work with just the working days. So that's what I'm going to go and do. I'm going to change it to just that. Now to do that, I'm going to need a function called Workday. And let me type this on my spreadsheet first of all, so that if you're familiar, or you're not familiar, sorry, with this function, you can see what it's about. I have done videos on it in the past, so for some of you who are familiar with me and my videos, you may have seen one already. But here we go, let me just type it in a cell. This function is called Workday, and it's capable of calculating a specific number of working days either in the future or in the past. I'm interested in the future in this example. We have workday, where Saturday and Sunday are considered a weekend and not part of your working week. And workday international, where you can specify what your weekend is, what days is your weekend. I'm just going to choose the workday one for now. And here's the three questions to specify a start date, which will be the today function, today and in the open and close bracket, comma, how many days in the future or past, 
I'm going to type 21, a positive number, so 21 days in the future there. If it was negative, it would be in the past. And then they're prompting me whether I'm interested in specifying any holidays. So stuff like bank holidays, you know, any any dates that you for some reason would like to exclude from that calculation, in addition to the weekends. And to use that, I would simply put a comma in and then specify a range where I may have typed those dates in, specified those dates. In this example, I'm not going to need that. I haven't got that stuff on this spreadsheet, but it would simply be a case of typing in those dates in the range that you choose, typically on a different sheet to the one I'm working on right now. I'd put a close bracket after that 21, and if I just press enter at the moment, that's going to calculate what the date is. Let me change that horrible format. What the date is, 21 working days from today's date, which is the 16th of August. Um, apparently that is 21 working days from <laughs> the 17th of July. So let's go and use that. If I just go into that cell now and take a copy of that formula. And I'm going to go and highlight my dates. I'm going to edit the rule that I've already done this time. So I could do highlight cells rules between, but I've already got one. So let me go to manage rules. And edit what I have. So here we go. Between today function. And in the second box. I will paste in my workday function. So there's my workday function. That I just wrote in that cell. I'll keep that same formatting. Click OK. Click OK again. Here we go. And there are a lot more. Than really expect there to be that many more. Now, I don't need this cell over here anymore. Don't let that distract you. Although with that visible, you can see that all those dates do fall in that range. Let me just clear that out now. I'm not really interested in that. But it's quite useful when you're writing formulas in conditional formatting to write the formula into a cell first because you don't necessarily get much help when you're writing that rule. But to put it in the cell first and then copy and paste it in there can normally make your life that little bit easier. So all of those dates fall within the next 21 working days. So this video was all about automatically formatting cells in a date range. And you know, a date range can mean so many things, specific dates, dates in the past, dates in the future. Uh, this video covered a couple of examples of calculating dates that fall in the future, but hopefully you get a feel for some of the date functions Excel have and there's, there's a lot more out there, so you can get Excel to work for, for you and highlight what you need to know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel. And come check us out at computergargard.com.